guys. <coughs>
hate that. I actually ended up getting that last night. I don't know, like, I ended up having that kind of feeling last night. It was weird. I felt something at one point press up against my back, but nothing was there. Not even my plushies were there. Um, and then, yeah, there was one moment where I couldn't open my mouth up. Like, I kind of did feel kind of stiff, and I couldn't really open my mouth up properly. I don't know, it was, yeah, one of those weird sleep paralysis kind of things. Yay! Love my body and how things work. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but this one in particular, I do remember because it really scared me. And that was that I was just like, uh, still pretty young, um, probably good, between 10 and 12, probably between then. And, you know, sleeping in bed, and I used to ha I had like a counter top right next to my bed. I'm amazed I never smacked my head against it, uh, but uh, then I would have my phone on top of it. And, you know, it was normal night and everything. <laughs> you know, I was just sleeping away. Uh, and then the paralysis hit. And pretty sure, yeah, I was laying on my laying on my belly, sleeping like that. And, yeah, and then it started to kind of happen and everything. And it did feel like someone was, like, laying on top of me or something. Some, like, not, but not really, you know? Like, you could feel that. But I felt the weight is what it was. And I swear I could feel, like, breathing and everything. I, something was wrong. Something was very, very wrong. I knew that. And... My first thought was to get to my phone, get the light on, figure out what's happening. You know? Um, and so, yeah, I was trying to reach for my phone and, like, I could just, like, you know, barely move. Because sleep paralysis is so fun like that. But, yeah, I could barely move, but I fought, I freaking fought so freaking hard. I've never fought so much in my life to move my hand just enough to reach my phone. And as soon as I managed to get my finger onto the button to turn on the light, as soon as the light turned on, I was fine. Everything just, like, snapped back into reality. And that is what scared me. You know, like, sleep paralysis is one thing. But, like, the whole thing with that is, like, you're not fully awake. You're still kind of asleep, I think, is what that kind of is, you know? You're, like, in between. And so it's a very weird kind of feeling, sleep paralysis. Um, but I just remember, as soon as I turned the light on, I was able to move, you know? Like, it was, like, this real struggle to get there. And as soon as I got it, boop! I was fine. And that is what scares me. That's what I remember. It's just that feeling of the light turning on and everything was okay. And just, I could not sleep that night, that's for sure. <laughs> so, do I feel like there was some kind of presence in the room? It, I, this was a different house as well. This was a different house than the, the first one. But do I feel like there was a presence there? Yeah. A part of me does. I don't know, that was... That was a very weird one. That was... I swear there was a lot of times there was a lot of weird stuff that happened at that house with me. I got a lot of paralysis kind of things happening and all that. It was, it was weird. Uh, but yeah, that one I remember. That one wasn't fun. <laughs> uh, I think that's about it. I think that's about all the scary things that have happened to me. Oh, no, I lie. There was one more. One more that I do remember. Oh, that's for sure. It makes me be like, yep, no, the ghosts are real. Shit's real. <laughs> so, uh, down here, down where I live, we got the Adelaide Jail. Uh, I live in Adelaide, Australia. But yeah, uh, we got the Adelaide Jail, which is like a completely abandoned jail. Like, I'm sure there's a jail around here somewhere that's not the, like, yeah. <laughs> We, but yeah, we got like, yeah, the Adelaide Jail that you can go visit and it's like this, um, basically like uh, this closed down prison that's known to be haunted. And so you can like have like little care pouts there, you can actually like basically sleep in like one of the little rooms or whatever. Uh, you know, there's a lot of like school trips people take there and go, yeah, go spend the night and think that's really cool like it's 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 an interesting experience like that whole idea and everything um i would love to like actually spend a night there that would actually be, be kind of cool especially if i could film it all and see if i could yeah see what i can get 
it would scare the crap out of me because I absolutely hate that stuff and I, I, I'm not sure how well monitored it all is because um, it's also a slight little museum-esque kind of thing so I'm sure it would be pretty well monitored probably but yeah they got like these like cold spots which is pretty um like a pretty known thing in like the paranormal world uh where like it like it'll be like all normal walking through but then there's just this like cold spot that you walk through and you'll just feel really cold uh they had them everyone would like avoid them like because yeah sorry i should probably say yeah we did i did this on a school trip we only did it for like we were only there for a couple hours but yeah we we did it on a school trip and i can't remember might have been high school i think maybe I think it was high school um and so uh you know we had our little tour guide and he mentioned like oh this is like you know there's like a little cold spot right there and everything a lot of people um a lot of people say yeah that's definitely a cold spot uh but uh, everyone just like avoided it i did it i walked right for you i didn't get affected by it or anything it's like oh okay now nah. Not well, <laughs> um, or maybe it just didn't affect me, sorry, like it probably did, like maybe during the night it might be a bit more effective, but to me, nah, it didn't do anything. Um, I remember one thing I was kind of creepy, is they had like a mannequin up in like a watchtower kind of thing, and it just kind of like stares, uh, like, you know, it doesn't move or anything, and so when you first see it, it's kind of really scary. <laughs> I do remember that, uh, I do remember one time where like, I can't remember exactly what happened, but there was like this loud kind of noise and the girls just screamed so loud and like it felt so real like we were in a horror movie all of a sudden and it was just absolutely hilarious to us it was so funny uh, but just, it was just so great <laughs> it was so much fun but okay so here's the scary part we went up to the hangman's area where they hang people um, which was just like, it was a bit different than what, like, what you would think. It wasn't just like some kind of platform, um, in like, in like, some kind of location or whatever. It was like in this room, uh, kind of thing where, like, yeah, you walked up the stairs and then you were, like, on top of, like, a platform, uh, where they had, like, a trapdoor, bleh, bleh, kind of thing. Now, yeah, you could stand up on top of the platform and everything, and I swear, for the life of me, I swear, I felt someone grab my foot. I swear, I felt something, and it wasn't just like someone grabbing it, it was cold. Some kind of cold hand, I felt, grabbed my foot while I was up there. And that's very reasonable in a sense of like, you're on top of like the hangman's area, and so it's like some, some ghost down below that was hanged or whatever that reached up and grabbed me. That's what it felt like. I swear, 100% that's what happened. It, I, I remember that and that scared me that like like I was like oh shit like quickly just like walked around the, I think I, I think the little hole was opened I swear it was and then like I just yeah walked around and I was like oh god no and just got out of there as quickly as I could um didn't have any other experience that day but I I swear I felt a cold hand grab my foot and that scared the shit out of me that really scared me so yeah, I 100% believe ghosts are real. Do I, like, it's a, it's a very interesting thing then, like, then what will happen to us in the end? Will I be a ghost? Or will I move on? But what does moving on mean? Uh, life is weird. The after death, after life is weird. <clears throat> the after life is weird. <laughs> anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed these little scary stories. Ooh. <laughs> Let me know what kind of scary stories you have down in the comments below. Let me know what kind of experience you've had. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel because I love you if you do. Hit that bell icon. Hit that bell icon. And this fox says, be who you want to be. Alright guys, bye for now. Ow!